Hey guys, Yarg here. Just a quick docking tutorial for everybody coming into KSP2 or just getting into Kerbal in general for the first time. So these are our two vessels. This is the one we are going to be controlling. This is the one we are going to be docking to. A couple quick things before we get started. Your center of mass should be roughly equal distance between your RCS ports like we see there. And if you actually click your RCS ports, um, it is easier if you enable advanced controls, turn pitch yaw roll off, and just keep these three on. That enables us to use SAS to control our pitch yaw and roll, where we use our thrusters to actually control our movements. Um, once you get more advanced, you may turn those back on, but for now, that is the easiest way to do it. So we are going to go back to the Space Center and then go to our tracking station. So this here is the vehicle that is already in orbit. We are going to be docking to. This guy here is the one we are going to be controlling and docking into it. So first thing I'm going to do is go to the map screen, create a maneuver, and drag our maneuver out. The goal here is to get the AP roughly even with the orbit of this other craft if we set it as target. All right, so there we go. Now what we want to do is get these two I1 points to come together. So if we drag, grab this and drag it around, you will see that eventually we will find a point where they cross, like that. So that is where we are going to want to do our burn. So we can either do it with the maneuver here or just time warp over there and do it by hand. So we'll time warp over. Ignore this, this is just weird Kerbal stuff. All right, so now we are at our burn. Our burn is in 45 seconds, it says. Again, the maneuver is just kind of a rough guideline, so I'm gonna turn SAS on. I'm going to set to prograde. I'm not even gonna actually use this burn. I'm just gonna time warp and tell roughly the burn time. I'm just going to kill the maneuver on our prograde here. I am going to stage my engine and burn until my AP is roughly 100 kilometers because I know that is the orbit that the other vessel is in. And you should see when I do that, my two I1 markers are now on top of each other. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to time warp to a point just before that intercept. And we should, there is our vessel right there. So our vessel's already targeted. The next thing I'm going to do is set myself retrograde. That means I am burning to cancel my relative velocity out. We're already moving farther away from it now, apparently. So I'm just, do oh, orbit, surface, target. There we go. So make sure you're set on target right here. And I am going to just burn and cancel my target velocity out. Once that gets roughly to zero, we are going to now set to target and burn toward it. Like that. You can also right click your engine and lower your thrust limiter way down here if you want some finer control. Normally I would time warp here until I get closer, but it's still a little bit finicky regarding vessels moving when you time warp, so I'm not gonna do that. Let's see, all right, you should have RCS here if you want at this point, and you can use your RCS to do your maneuvers. So we're just watching our alignment here. I could at this point flip around and use my thrusters to stop as I get closer or I can just use my RCS to stop as I get closer. 
The other thing you can do as we get closer, I'm going to switch to this. And now, if I go to this guy and I target the other one, now that that is set target, I'm just going to point toward it. That just lines up our docking ports. So now switching back to this guy, still pointing toward our target, I'm going to just use my RCS to keep these our maneuvers lined up here. You can see all our things are lined up on top of each other. I'm going to start slowing down now. As I do this, I am once again continuing to keep our maneuvers lined up with RCS. Alrighty, our, we are now approaching at one meter a second. Slow down to like 0.2. And just like this, nice and slow and close together. If you want to, you could even rotate to line up your cockpits and stuff at this point. But really, you don't have to do anything else and they will click together and you have a dock. It is that easy as long as you line up your vessels so they are pointing toward each other and you just point and go. Thank you for watching this. I will throw out some more advanced docking tutorials later for when you are docking to a station or other object that you are not able to align with your vessel. But for basic docking, this is the easiest way to do it. Don't make it any more complicated than you have to.